Have you ever thought to yourself, boy, I really like Glocks, but I sure am jealous of those 2011 guys and their ability to change out grips and everything else on the gun? If that thought's never crossed your mind, then you're probably not gonna be interested in a Zev OZ9. But if you're a diehard Glock shooter and you're really into the idea of being able to configure a gun however you want, just like a 2011, then that's what the OZ9 has on offer. Are you ready? Stand by. Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel. I'm David. Today we're at the range to do a first shots video on the Zev OZ9. And the Zev OZ9, everyone knows of Zev because of their background in providing awesome aftermarket Glock parts. This is their first pistol that while it is heavily Glock inspired, and when I say heavily Glock inspired, I mean it's basically a Glock, but rather than the plastic bit you see here being the actual serialized gun, there's actually a metal chassis in the gun. So it makes the OZ9 a little bit heavier than like a standard Glock 17. Now I do have my Glock 17 Gen 4, that's what we're gonna close on and finish shooting with a Glock 17 side by side with the OZ9. Let's take a look at this and put some rounds down range. Now fair warning, I have fired about a magazine out of this gun to get it zeroed. I'm not exactly sure whether it's gonna make it through all this ammo without some issues because I definitely had some issues in my first mag. So let's do a little bit of shooting and we'll talk some more about it. All right, so let's talk about what's going on with this. First and foremost, the weight is better than a, just a traditional plastic pistol. It does sit down in the hand a little bit better than uh, like a Glock does because of how they've cut out the frame. The traction on the frame is appreciably better than an OEM Glock, even the Gen 5s. The machining on the slide, these are good serrations. I mean, Zev's been cutting on slides since forever. And as a result, this feels pretty good. They've got this weird kind of crease right here at the top of the grip, can't really see that because the lighting's trash on the range day and sorry. But that kind of makes an interesting spot because that creates a weld for the drumstick from your support hand where you're trying to control recoil. That actually feels really good. Uh, it is noticeable rather than like a traditional gun. It's like straight right there on the plastic frame thing. So your hand is just kind of slipping across the face of it and you're relying on friction to be able to hold on to the gun. This actually gives you a little bit of a wedge that you sort of push into. So the drumstick of my thumb is absolutely grabbing onto that, holding on, so I'm getting more out of the traction. That is an appreciable advantage in that. That is very forward thinking by Zev. I really like that feature. The rest of the controls are basic Glock fare. If you've ever tried like a Glock store pyramid ultimate trigger kit, that's what this trigger is very much like. I guess, I've not tried the Zev, but I'm guessing that the Zev, Zev trigger kit is exactly what's in this. It has a much higher quality feel to it than a traditional Glock trigger design. Uh, there is a very minimal take up and then you get on kind of a soft spongy wall and then a very short over travel. Reset is very short, very tactile, very easy to shoot fast. So to boil it down, it's basically a Glock that has a super heavy like guide rod sort of feel to it and it has double undercut frame with a honestly a much improved frame. This is still a $1,700 Glock, so there's that. So for the gratuitous shoot fast stuff, I was very impressed with how the gun was shooting. I think that's mostly alphas, if not all alphas, we'll see here in a second, but we're gonna back it up and try shooting some groups at a couple different distances, to see what we get. All right, seven yard group. Basically they're touching all stringing vertically. That's not too bad. 15 yard group, that looks pretty good. Holding it together, very good. And 25 yard group, this target's kind of chewed up, so it's tough to see. So that's one, two, three, four, and then one flyer. I saw that one on the dot as I broke it. So that's, uh, just ignore the flyer. That's not a bad group. It's about a three inch group right there offhand at 25 yards. So the gun is, Super duper accurate, very, very good. 
All right, I've got my original carry optics gun. It is a Glock 17 Gen 4. I don't even know what's in the trigger group right now, but uh, it's got an Overwatch uh, plastic trigger on it. I don't think there's anything sporty as far as fancy trigger jobs are concerned. And to that point, yeah, it's a super duper squishy trigger compared to what is in the OZ-9. So let's load it up, holster up, and see what we can do. Recoil is much, much snappier on the Gen 4 17, much more muzzle climb. It is not near as pleasant to shoot as the OZ-9. Let me grab the OZ-9, we'll see what's up. The OZ-9 is wildly more controllable. I shoot at a reasonably high level. For USPSA shooters, I'm a master in carry optics. I used to compete with blocks. There's definitely a difference to how the OZ-9 shoots. I can say that if you want maximum performance, this gun certainly brings more performance than a stock Glock does. It just, because of how you close your grip and press in on this like weird indention right here, I really like that. I think if I was using like a grip enhancer, it would be pretty awesome. I mentioned in the beginning that I had issues and I did have issues. I had three failure to ejects when I was getting the gun zero then confirming zero on a couple different mags. And I'm shooting Winchester NATO ammo. So if it looks snappy, that's why. I did not have any issues once I got it zeroed. Maybe I was limp wristing, trying to get extreme accuracy. I don't know. If this were a gun I was considering for carry or something like that. I mean, I say this with all the guns, you absolutely have to put a bunch of ammo through guns that you're gonna carry. If you can make it through about 200, 300 rounds and a couple boxes of your carry ammunition with no issues, it's probably got a green light and is good to go. So the bottom line question is, is the OZ-9 worth about $1,000 more than the Glock Gen 4 that I have right here? It's tough to say. There's a diminishing returns curve with all of this gun stuff. It's pretty much the same for any hobby, honestly. And the higher you go up on the diminishing returns curve, the less value you get for your dollar. You're getting more quality, but you're not necessarily getting the value that you get. Like going from zero to one, tremendous value, a lot going on. But going from one to call it two, you're spending more money, about $1,000 more, and you're getting more performance. The gun does shoot better. It's got a better frame. It's got a much better trigger. The sights are much better out of the box. The slide has better machining. The little modular system allows you to customize it if you want it to be a full-size gun or a shorter grip or whatever. It takes all the Glock mags. It does a lot of stuff that this one doesn't do. Whether that is going to be worth it to you is a question that I honestly can't answer. I will say that I absolutely prefer shooting the Zev, but uh, whether it's worth $1,000 more I don't know this gun is on loan to me from my buddy Paul so I didn't spend that extra thousand dollars obviously but it is a pretty good analog for the Glock 17. I can say I really do like the Zev OZ-9 it clearly shoots better if I were a Glock competition shooter I would certainly consider the OZ-9 as being sort of the highest form of what this gun is sort of capable of I prefer how this gun shoots so much more it didn't matter at all the dot didn't lift as high in recoil and the gun was just much more manageable due to that little shelf that my hand could get purchased into. That's the Zev OZ-9, guys. Sound off in the comments if you've got questions on that. And if you want some more Glock trivia, then maybe check out this video on a Glock 19. I'll catch you guys on the next one.